All right, 15 inch versus 30 inch. Both had the same nitrogen program. 15 inch got a higher planting population because the point of 15 inch was to see could the 15 inch push the population to get us a better yield over our normal practice. The hail this year kind of screwed up the whole population thing. Um, you can look through, you know, there's, there's some pretty thin spots of corn out there and uh, there's some pretty thin spots. There's a lot of, a lot of damage this year to the corn. <clears throat> I don't know, but it is what it is. They both got the same damage. You know what I mean? They, they were in the same tornado, same hail. Uh, the only thing separating them is this little green strip. So the sucky part is the ears are so low to the ground. I don't know, that, that's gonna be sucky, but we'll get it picked up the best we can. And uh, we'll use the scale on the grain cart. We'll see the acreage for the two should be um, very similar. You know, we can all, we'll use a tape measure to measure measure, but for right now we can use the, the monitor for, for area, but we'll use the scale on the grain cart for weight. We'll check moisture between the two and test weight between the two and just see what it does. I, I, I really don't care what it does if it if it blows the doors off or if it fails I, I really don't care i have no fight in the game for 15 inch corn i just wanted to see what would happen and so we got the uh the mighty lexion there as far as area goes they both end at the same spot this one this one is about seven feet more uh, I think it takes about 10 feet in historical average. It takes about 10 feet in our corn to do a bushel or something like that. I don't We had that figured out at one time and I thought it, it you had to go 10 feet for a bushel or something. But anyhow, let's get in here. Let's see if we can't figure out where the heck to drive. I'm hoping I can just straddle the two rows, you know, and pinch them together, but they do that as it goes down you know it you can kind of see this this row kind of leaves this one and moves to this one but then finally moves back yeah I don't know we'll we'll figure it out It's just kind of a teaser.
we got our 200 grams corn 32 it's calibrating while it's calibrating I can do that it says to load 200 grams and press test it's testing we had 1520 pounds and uh, on the grain cart scale 46 percent 48 degrees thank god i don't have 300 acres of that now let's go do oh test weight for test weight we hit weigh then we put the empty cup on and we hit zero And now I need to fill that container, so I'll set you down. Now hit test weight, 49 pound. At that moisture, that's not too terrible because at that moisture, um, by the time it dries down, maybe you could see a 51 or 52 pound test weight. Um, so now let's go do the 30 inch and see how that compares. Depending whose shrinkage factor you use, some elevators will do a 1.4% per point of water. Some will do a 1.2% per point of water. So 31 points of water to get to 15%. <clears throat> do our math. Um, so at 1.4 comes out to 15 bushels and the other one comes out to 17 bushels. We'll get the area off the monitor, but we'll do the other one. Let's do the other side. So I'm going to make a new region and what that will do is start everything over for the counter so our, our uh, area will start over at zero so we can compare that one said 0.19 this one should say 0.19 we'll split the difference to, for the two because they they should be identical really gotta just scrape the ground with this header but at least I'm not fighting. I'm trying to pick up stuff. I gotta watch that end so I don't scoop in the other row. I'm gonna have to spill a little corn on that very front lip. So I can get a sample. It'll still count for weight. I just wanna get some corn up on that upper lip. I got something to test with and if there's not enough there at least all the new corn is on the front slope of the grain cart so I can climb inside if I have to. Let's wind it up. Make sure we get everything to clean out. All right. That will work. All right. And it was 1.9 acres again. So we'll just go do our math. The, 
I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. Come on, girl. It's trying to. 1100, 1120. We'll use 1120. Calibrating, load our 200. Boom. And press test. It's testing. It was 41.4% moisture. So we'll see how that comes out. We will take this with a grain of salt because of the tornado damage, <laughs> but we still have to compare it. And at the 1.4 shrinkage factor, um, the 30 inch rows did 15 and a half bushels, or the 15 inch rows did 15 and a half bushels, and the 30 inch row did 12 and a half, 12.6. And at the 1.2 shrinkage, it was 17 bushels versus 13 bushels. Um, that's actually quite a bit of difference in that little spot. Bushel to the acre, 81, 89, 66, and 72. So that that's a lot of bushel to the acre difference there. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. Well, it is what it is. It, the, the 15 inch with the higher population definitely won is this data that uh, I would I would take to the bank probably not but it's observational data saying with that much difference it, it's definitely worth trying another test plot next year hoping that it does not get destroyed by hail and tornado um, and so yeah yeah <laughs>